But yeah, my name's Glenn Goche. I'm a collage artist, multimedia collage. Um, I've been doing this for probably the past decade or so. I've been a creative and artist all of my adult life for you know 30 plus years. But these last few years, I've, I've really focused on getting outside of my work environment, which is computer-based creative and into analog, physical, cutting, pasting, which for me is like therapy. You know, there are a couple of different ways that I'll approach a new project. Sometimes it's thought out and planned. So I'll be gathering the right materials that I need, the right images, the right uh, textural backgrounds, documents, that kind of thing. And coax those into being with my X-Acto knife and glue. And then there are other times where I'm in the studio and I just want to be there and I want to make something so it's more in the moment. And I love doing both versions of those. This piece behind me, which is entitled Time Machine, for all of my adult life and even in childhood, I've been obsessed with time travel. And I feel like my work is a, a form of that, basically. So I am constantly in communication with different versions of myself. The child, the adult who's here right now, and the guy who's going to be here 30 years from now. And I love that aspect of trying to figure out how to speak through time, and hence the title transmissions for the whole show. So in this piece, in Time Machine, um, I knew I wanted to create a time machine that was fueled by emotions or, uh, you know, a lament, things in life that maybe didn't go the way I wanted them to go. So I uh, teamed up with a poet friend of mine, Guy Delcom, and I was able to take some of his phrases from poetry that addresses the idea of lament, and I was able to incorporate those into images that I had taken with my iPhone at estate sales, garage sales, and uh, antique stores around the Dallas area. I have these two pieces, these here. This uh, series of pieces I call The Machinist. And again, one of these things that has fascinated me since childhood are all of these mechanical things that man has built. And, you know, engineers design these things and they have a specific use and you see them in use. I love the idea of taking these items, these objects, and pulling them out of their original context. Cutting them out so, so each item is silhouetted because I find that they are beautiful pieces of art in their own right. So if you have a gear or something, it works in a machine, but on its own, to me, that's enough. It's beautiful. I think the thing that really excites me about my artwork now is as I've been doing it for the past decade, what started out as almost a hobby, a, a way of creating new images that I found really interesting, has morphed into a way to process my thoughts, feelings, emotions. And you know, a lot of times I'll be working on a piece without an idea of any kind of trauma or any of those ideas, but as I work through the piece and then come to the end of it, I will see that subconsciously there was something inside of me that now comes out on the canvas or the artboard. So I love the fact that I'm able to now use my artwork as a processing machine. I'm really excited for this show because this is literally the first time that I'm able to put a lot of my work into one space. And it was really fun coming in here uh, the day that I hung the work with a good friend of mine, Treg Miller. And as we hung the work, we just became more and more excited about what it actually uh, looked like and the effect it was having on us. So I really hope that the work has that effect on everyone who sees it. I'm really excited to see people's reactions to it.